Okay, so this afternoon I'm talking to Jessica Diamond, who's a professional violinist and composer, no less. Um, hi, Jessica. Um, just Hello. first thing, um, could you talk me through kind of uh, where you where you came from from a schooling point of view in music, and then what's what's happened to bring you to where you are? Uh, so yeah, I, at school I kind of did more of the creative side of things. I wasn't very academically strong, so I focused on my A levels on music and sculpture. Um, my dad's a musician, so um, it kind of runs in the family. Um, he was head of strings at school, so I was always participating in you know ensembles and choirs and all the music activities. Yeah. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to write songs and do pop mm -hmm. music because I'm classically trained and I just didn't enjoy playing classical music. Okay. So I, I decided to go to Leeds College of Music mm -hmm. and um, I did a popular music compositions degree. Wow. Okay. And I had a whale of a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. That's what uni's about. Yeah, it really is. Fantastic. Um, and... This is this will sound like a completely nuts question, but is there anything like a typical day for you, or is it just whatever? No. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, what what sort of things do you, do you do? Because I mean, obviously the, the composition I assume is something that you do. Is that something you do on your own or with other people? Do you, is it collaborative or? It is collaborative. Yes. Yeah. So I work with a team, mm -hmm. um, and I I'm sort of like a co-writer. Uh, okay. I do a lot of re recording um, strings and vocals for other writers. So there is, you know, additional work with that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's more of a team. And then you submit the music onto library music companies. Right. OK. So um, do you do live performances as well? Is that part of the whole, the whole gig, as it were? Yeah, yeah. So um, I would say composition is sort of my uh, weekday thing. Mm -hmm. And then weekends, I perform for weddings and corporate events. Okay. But you know, it's, it's so uh, being self employed, you you have so much freedom, which mm -hmm. obviously, I absolutely love. Yeah. But then you have that risk that you ne never know when you're gonna, you know, earn money. Yeah. And during this whole pandemic, mm -hmm. it's been a real struggle. Um, but I've been fortunate to have parents to support me. Yeah, no, no, so. I can imagine that the this the last twelve months has been, has been uh, a nightmare. Uh, mm. I was self-employed before I came into teaching, so I um, wow. like to have have to deal with the, the, with that kind of stuff. I mean, what would mm. you say uh, from kind of professionally? What's what's been your your greatest success so far? Do you think? Um. Tricky one. I think it would be performing for Amir Khan, the boxer's wedding. Okay, wow, right. So it was, uh, there was about two and a half thousand people at this wedding. <laughs> it was <laughs> no crazy. Pressure. Yeah, and it was, uh, the sound system was as loud as like a festival. It was, oh, wow. it was mega. It was yeah. so fun. Uh, said, so I think that's probably my best. That's been your highlight. I mean, you said your dad's um, a musician. I mean, do, do, you, do you play with him or have you ever kind of done anything together? <laughs> No, we we only do it at Christmas time, really. Right. Okay. Uh, at home behind yeah. closed doors without. without an order. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. What, what would you say is um, the hardest part of, of of your job as a as a, as a musician slash composer? Well, I mean, there's so much competition out there, so it's trying to think of how you can be unique and niche to a market, really. Um, so I am a Bollywood violinist, which obviously is unknown as such um, and shocks many when I tell them. Right, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've sort of thought of that idea and it's worked mm -hmm. really well. Um, so yeah, it's just the competition and obviously getting the gigs. Sure. I mean, Bollywood violinists, you wouldn't kind of think that'd be a job. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was it that kind of got you in? I mean, you, you said before you were you didn't want to play classical music. You wanted to mm. kind of move away, use the classical instruments, but use them in a different way, I suppose. Mm. Is mm. that what attracted you to to the Bollywood music? Um, no, it actually because I, I didn't know of any kind of Bollywood music before. I never watched a Bollywood film, mm. um, and I still haven't. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Controversial. It, yeah, it was just a chance of a, an opportunity, really, which I took. Yeah. And um, 
at university, I was always dipping, you know, into so many different projects because that's how you grow mm. and and you challenge yourself. Yeah. And um, yeah, that and that's just what happened basically. Did a, did a wedding, busked the entire drinks reception, and <laughs> right. met an agent at the gig. Oh wow, fantastic! Yeah, get, get out of your comfort zone. Um, yeah. In terms of obviously. I'm I'm coming to this from a from a teacher's point of view. Um, if if any of my of the pupils at school were to ask you, what would you suggest recommend as um, kind of a pathway towards either kind of be, being a professional musician or working in composition? What options are there from that point of view? I think going to university is important because you meet a lot of people and opportunities can then stem from that. Mm -hmm. So I definitely would advise going there. Um, if one doesn't want to go to uni, then it's just a case of emailing and just excuse the language, but it's, it's throwing all until some sticks. You right. know, you fail, you fail to succeed. Yeah. Um, I've had a hell of a lot of no's in my time, but I've kept pushing and I kept believing and yeah. that's you know that's what happens really right so it's just kind of i either go down the <laughs> route or just kind of knock on doors until eventually someone, uh, someone yeah answers go to gigs meet people connect yeah. um there's loads of networking opportunities in loads of different cities sure. um and perform get on stage perform actually actually do it i suppose yeah, yeah in school and wherever you can um i mean i suppose one last question really is what's the best piece of advice that you've ever been given or that you would then pass on do you think um instead of the word s it would be mud keep throwing mud at the wall until some stick <laughs> that, that's um that's what my, my dad's always told me so right. um that's the kind of attitude i've got right so just stick with it as much as you uh, you possibly can and uh, yeah. until something works out for you I mean, yeah, I, I, I always had a vision as to what I kind of wanted and mm. I invested money into my, my violin sound because I wanted to be different. So I yeah. went the electronic route, you know, right, okay. um, and using like delays and chorus and reverb, octave and all this kind of thing. So, you know, being a writer, using these different techniques, kind of it's creative and colourful. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my journey. I suppose being a writer as well gives you that freedom so you're not just playing other people's works. You, you've got the opportunity to kind of give yourself your own direction. Yeah, experiment, experimenting, yeah, it's really uh, important. Fantastic. Uh, Jessica, thanks ever so much for your time. I do appreciate it and uh, enjoy the rest of uh, your day. Oh, it's a pleasure. If anyone <laughs> wants to like get in touch, then please do and I'll be happy to help. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Yeah, if there are any questions, I'll, I'll let you know. Thank you. Oh, great. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. -bye. Bye.